Does this feel like your cleaning business? Try a better solution with Clean Intelligent software. Clean Intelligent makes it easy to run your business from your computer or mobile device. Use Clean Intelligent software and watch your worries disappear. You can perform inspections anywhere, anytime. Work orders can be submitted instantly online without a paper trail. Improve your productivity with customizable job scheduling. And much more. Clean Intelligent has helped cleaning companies around the world dramatically increase their productivity and win new business worth millions of dollars. Request a free demo today at cleantelligent.com slash demo. And find out how we can simplify your cleaning business needs. Welcome to our CleanCast today. Thanks for joining us. I want to continue today and follow up from our podcast or CleanCast from last week. Do you remember what that was? If this were the last day of my life, is it what I should be doing? Did you take the test like I suggested last week that I challenge you to take? And if so, how'd you come out? If not, probably ought to take it. And if you want to uh, text me or send me a... Um, an email. I'd be interested to see what your results were. Um, you can uh, go right onto our website, send me a message. It's cleancast.com, K L E A N S C A K L E A N C A S T dot com. And just send me a message and uh, let me know how you did. See if, it, if you made some progress. Um, you know, the uh, first posting of this clean cast took place, uh, or will be taking place rather, uh, toward the end of the first calendar quarter. You know, if I've got my math right, uh, and I'm sitting here, it's close to it's close to the end of the first quarter, somewhere probably around the middle of March. And uh, I think it's a great time that uh, we do a kind of a review of where we are in the first quarter. You're probably going to get this, and you, and you know this by now, that you get this about every quarter from me anyway. But it's important that you do these evaluations, that you do these kind of benchmarks to see where you are. Remember, we've had earlier podcasts talking about you got to establish these goals and how, how are your time, you know, are you doing the things you should be doing? No use doing well, that which you should not be doing at all. And if you look in the mirror, if you were to die today, would you be die? Would you die doing something that you should have been doing? Um, so, so, let's talk about: Are you making the sales contacts as you should? Are you doing that the way you should be doing it to make? Remember, in our earlier podcast this year, we talked about you need to know how many prospects you need to call on to see how many proposals you're going to make to see how many sales that you make, to, or how many uh, proposals you have to make to get how many sales, and then what's the average size of the sale, and you work that down the line, and all of a sudden you know I have to make, you know, 122 phone calls a week, or 122 whatever a week, uh, so that I can make this many sales proposals, and this many that I can close, etc., etc. Uh, are you submitting the number of proposals you need to close? As I just said, are you conducting your orientation and your training on every new employee as you should be? See, it's one thing to go out and get new business, but it, you have to make sure that what the sales has promised to deliver gets delivered, and you get it delivered by doing an orientation that is thorough to the new employee 
that a training program that is thorough to the new employee, a follow-up training program every six months for every employee so that everybody is on the same page at all the time. Have you retuned every account? Have you gone through every account and made sure that the budgets are right? That all of the emergency numbers are posted? That all the supplies are either there that you need or brought back to the office if, they, uh, if they're overstocked? And that the equipment is in good repair? That the schedule of services that you perform is, is in the, in the a janitor's closets for everyone to see that the MSD that the MSD sheets are available and and uh, uh, in every closet that they need to be in every vehicle that you're transporting anything in have you had a supervisor's training session you know we should be doing those about every quarter to make sure that the supervisors get to learn uh, management you know, training. Because many times I find that uh, it's kind of rampant in this industry. I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying many times we make supervisors out of good cleaners. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we owe it to those new supervisors to continue to give them ongoing management training so that they can become better at their job. We know they can clean. But we need to make sure they know customer relations. We need to make sure they know how to handle discipline. You know, how to handle an accident that may occur on the job. How to handle all those safety issues. We need, th th that gives you, if you do that quarterly, just keep an automatic. We always had ours like the second Saturday of every January, April, July, and October. That was just, you put it on the calendar, and that's it. And, uh, Everybody knew that was the time that we were going to be doing it. Now, did you answer yes to all those five items that I mentioned? If so, congratulations. You're on your way. If not, which ones didn't you answer with a yes? And if, if you didn't answer them with a yes, let's get started doing them. What's holding us up? Remember about the the podcast that we did a few weeks ago when we talked about time just don't have time and we made that profound statement that all of us have the same amount of time every day it's how we utilize that time so uh, make sure you're doing all five of these please are you looking in the mirror every day and if I, am I doing today, if I knew this was the last day of my life, am I doing what I should be doing? That's number six in our lessons. Thanks for joining us today. Look forward to hearing from you. Look forward to seeing you next time.